Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. By now many of you know that I am a die-hard data modes ham radio operator. One of the most useful modes in my emergency communications toolbox is JS8 Call. Well, today we're going to be talking about leveraging the messaging capabilities of JS8 Call as well as the narrow bandwidth slow mode and the benefits it provides. Now, what most people don't understand about JS8 Call is it is a network mode. In some regards, we can think of it as a somewhat primitive mesh. Primitive, but effective at messaging. Now, what you've been watching on your screen is a retrieval of a message that's been stored on the network for my station to retrieve once my station was on the network again. So there are three stations involved. There's the station which actually sent the message and stored it on the network. There's the station where the message is stored. And then there's my station, which will retrieve that message from the JS8 call network. There certainly are different reasons why an operator would decide to use the network for delivering the message rather than attempting a station-to-station -station contact. The simplest reason would be those two stations simply can't hear one another and they need a redirect or a third station to direct that message between them. Whatever the reason, the JS8 call network provides the store and forward messaging functionalities we need for off-grid asynchronous communications. Now, just to add a bit more context, my home station has been down or off air for maintenance for a few days. While my home station was down, I was simultaneously trying to prepare my ham radio camper caravan for an upcoming off-grid trip. So this message was being retrieved using a Microsoft Surface, the ICOM IC705 with no amplifier, just 10 watts from an ICOM IC705, and an off-center fed dipole cut for 80 meters and pushed up a carbon fiber gigaparts mast to get it up in the air. So we have a QRP radio. We have an off-center fed dipole. We have a carbon fiber mast and a Microsoft Surface. I don't think a data mode station could be any simpler than this. Now the station I'm retrieving the message from is Whiskey 3 Bravo Foxtrot Oscar. That station is about 4,000 miles away from my own. So wait a moment, Julian. You're saying you connected to a station, retrieved the messages from that station using only 10 watts, and the distance between you was about 4,000 miles? That's actually insane. And indeed, that is exactly what I'm saying. One of the things you may have noticed about this message retrieval is how slow it is. It's slow because we're using slow mode, which is one of the four modes JS8 Call offers. The slow mode in JS8 Call is very narrow bandwidth. A good analogy for comparison between slow mode and, for example, normal or fast mode in JS8 Call would be a long rifle versus birdshot without a choke. The narrow bandwidth of slow mode allows us to reduce the output power of our radios without losing effectiveness. Of course, the price for that effectiveness is the speed in which we can transmit or transfer messages between the two stations. During a grid down scenario where we don't have an abundance of energy at our disposals, it may be advantageous to use an effective low power mode for transmissions between ourselves and others. So for the most part, I use the ICOM 705 at 10 watts along with the slow mode in JS8 call. I enjoy operating this way almost every day because I figure if I can be effective with 10 watts and a QRP radio with a wire antenna, when I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 watts available to me in a grid down emergency, I'll definitely get that message through. All right, guys, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or somewhere where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. You are all absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching. Ciao.